Welcome back to Night in the Woods. Let's head to bed. Bet we're gonna have another dream. We're on a train. Or we're on ground in buildings and stuff that's on a train. Some springs deep hollow county. Whoops. Whoa! Ghost train. <laughs> Such a cool scene. This bright neon light with Aurora Borealis stuff happening in the background and the stars going by. Shooting by because we're on a train. Another shadow. Looks like the next one's above us somewhere. I think we gotta do a triple jump here to the right. Oh, wow, I just made it.
It's interesting that our dream is always some sort of humongous entity that's threatening us, and always a different one too. I don't remember what the first dream was, but the second one... The, uh, was the second one the squirrel or the bear? There was a bear, a squirrel, and then whatever we just saw was maybe an alligator or a dragon or something? Happy Halloween, dude. Get spooked or something. Thanks. Away message. Annual Harfest play tonight at the old pickaxe. Come out and see the haunted history of Possum Springs. Ghostly Gourd. World's largest pumpkin. Brock. Conduit to the dead. <laughs> what? I wonder if actual creepy stuff is going to happen on Halloween. Let's practice some bass. Okay, I just played uh, a new song. I didn't realize it till I played through it a bit. I, I thought maybe it was the song that we played last time at band practice, but no, it's definitely a new song and we just drew this in my journal. It's fine that I played it off camera though because I did pretty terribly at it, so <laughs> that was my practice. So let's do it on camera. So we can do one more. I'm gonna do the same one again. I just want to go over them again. So Space Dragon, that's the first one we saw. Die Anywhere Else. We definitely did that at band practice. Um, Cycles is the new one. And then Weird Autumn. I think that's the last one we played at band practice. Yeah, I don't know where Cycles came from. But we can play it. So check it out. Okay, um, that was actually only marginally better than my first try. Maybe it was the, the nerves of having to do it on camera? I don't know. <laughs> the second half was good, but the first half, oof, I messed it up. It's a really nice song though, it's really fun to play. It's pretty slow and chill. And something I only realized pretty recently, by the way, is that 
um, I can actually sustain the notes. So previously I was just tapping each key for each note. And if you do that, it just makes the bass sound for, it's kind of like just plucking it and then muting it almost immediately after. So it just makes the pluck noise and it doesn't sustain itself. But if you hold down the button for the note, it actually sustains the note for at least a couple seconds. Not forever, not indefinitely, but for a bit. And I think it sounds better most of the time. At least when you're not playing too many notes in super quick succession, it's nice to sustain them. Otherwise the bass kind of disappears too fast. It does make it a little bit harder to play though. Because then it's not just press the right key at the right time, but release the other key and then press the right key at the right time. So it made it a little bit harder, and I think that's why I kept messing up near the beginning, because I was trying to sustain the notes and a little bit harder. But I think it's worth it, because it sounds better musically. Yep, can still learn to practice. Still learn to practice two a day. Do you want to take any bets as to whether it has been... the boxes have been cleared? I bet you they haven't. Oh my god. Damn. Thanks, Dad. What the hell is this? It looks like we're in a cave or something. Oh, wait. <laughs> I know how to open this. Left 45, right 100. Oh, it's that! The thing I took a picture of. I guess I didn't need the picture. Thanks, Granddad. Aha! It's opening. What the hell? It's an old... tooth. Yeah, that's a tooth. Granddad put a tooth in a safe in the basement. Welp. Never know when you'll need an extra tooth. You and me, Tooth. We're gonna go far. I'll take it. Mysterious Tooth. That's... creepy. I wonder if that's gonna come up sometime later in the game. Maybe at some point it'll save my ass, I don't know. So, I would just like to point out that I would not have known that password to open that if I hadn't just read these books. So it really does pay off just to look at everything. Hey, trash bird. Mean. The floating island. Jeez. I'm old. I've definitely grown quite a bit since then. A little bit taller. A regular bit wider. Granddad said I was sturdy. Screw it. I am sturdy. Hey, Mom. Mm-hmm. Um. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. You're lying. So, honey, do you feel like talking about school yet? Um, okay. So what's the story? I just felt like I wasn't where I should be. Where you should be? What does that even mean? Ah, never mind. Let's talk about this later. Any idea when you might want to do that? Because, honey, I'm all ears. I really am dying to find out why you decided to up and abandon all the plans we'd made as a family. Jeez, Mom. Where's this coming from? You know, you're the... F the first Porowski to go to college. Yeah, Mom, I know. I only heard that since I was like six. Well, honey, we've been planning for it since you were born. Spent a good 18 years and got in all kinds of trouble. Just for you to decide you'd rather be here. Might as well have taken all that effort and, and money and worry and dumped it in a hole. Are you like having one of your mood swings again? <sighs> like I'm the moody one in this house. You are the moody one in this house. Well, enjoy this house while we still have it. What? What's happening to the house? Maybe it just isn't where we should be. Mm -hmm. 
Mom, this isn't funny. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about anything. Why start now? Go off and do whatever it is you do. You know what? Maybe if I'd had more examples of, you know, getting out and making something of myself. No. No. You do not get to... Maybe you wanted me to get out of here. Because you never got around to doing it yourself. Maybe I'm just the most recent failure in the line of failures that is our family. I'm leaving now. Whew, that was a bad conversation. Oh, these are the boxes. The dead moved. So, yeah, they are having financial troubles and she is really stressed. Whoa, decorations. Girl, you can't mess around on Halloween. Jeez. Want to hear a new poem? Bats and moon against the gloom. The night is black. I made a snack. Cool. I microwaved pizza I'd saved. Though pizza cold is breakfast gold. <laughs> That's so true. It really happened. Big Halloween fan here. Yeah, me too, obviously. You going to Harfest? Nah, staying here for the trick-or-treaters. You are a saint. Harfest is dumb. Really? I love it. I mean, are you eight years old? No, I'm not. Meh. Yeah. Don't touch my pumpkin. Breathe some fire already, dude. <laughs> Talking to the sun? Howdy. You waiting for someone? Well, I, I think I'm being stood up. A date? Uh, not the kind you mean. Honestly, a big part of my job is someone calling me heading out and then not showing up them not showing up. You were meeting them at the statue of Saint Rubolo. Yeah, the fire-breathing guy. Oh, they weren't talking to the sun. Okay. You're like, eight people. That's a bit of an oversimplification. But, yeah, basically. Cool guy to have a statue of. Outside the church, I mean. Well, I didn't put it here. But can't we learn something from Saint Rubolo? Eat people? Sure. This statue is part of our Encourage Criminal Acts outreach. It's working. How's the situation? The situation? With Bruce and stuff. Eh. We wait and see. And pray. You gonna go down to Harfest tonight? Dunno. Maybe. Keep to myself. You should say hi if you're there. I'll be there. Okay. We'll see, I suppose. Ooh. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hey. Traveler from distant lands, you have journeyed far, and it has brought you here to us. Actually, I walked like 15 minutes from my house. Walker, far from home, will tell of your future. But first, be truthful. Tell us. Which of these have you seen? A shipwreck? A ghost on a hill? An arrow broken? Broken? Really? I, um, hmm. You're all like 14 years old, 14 year old goths. Why am I answering this? <laughs> proceed to answer it. Um, the ghost. False. You have failed. We cannot help you. You may see us once more, but it is not certain, and then never again. Okay. Uh, have fun, kids. Fun is all we have. 
Do you like practice that talking and turn thing? You're not gonna narc on us to the pastor, right? For being out here? Nah. Cool, thanks. Three weird teens I met. Oh, I should explain by the way, I purposely didn't go inside of the church because I feel like May would not want to speak with their mom at the moment. Uh, which is basically just a less spooky Halloween. Eh, whatever. I just want to head home and get ready for tonight. I could just do that. Or I could wander a bit, take in the harvesty air. Well, I'll get home when I do. Still a coffee and cigarette thing, whatever that means. Oh, well, a lot of people here. The Ferris wheel looks like a nightmare. Thanks, Colleen, that's helpful. What's wrong with it? I don't trust giant load-bearing machines you can assemble and disassemble in one day. It's the hit record. We've always had the hit record at Harfest. Yeah, since 1984. Maybe that's a clue that we should retire it. Shut up, Andrew. Okay, everyone, let's just take a step back here and cool down. We are going to have the hit record at Harfest tonight. Fine, then. I'll send all lawsuits your way. Bring it, Colleen. Does that mean shoot me? <laughs> Money? I don't know, is that like their predominant thought at the time, maybe? Hey, on mall cop. Mall cops don't carry guns, May. Jeez. I guess you need that gun for... What are you doing? Blocking off the road. Oh yeah, wouldn't want to do that without a gun. You know how many times I've shot someone? No, tell me now. Once. You kill him? No. So you're saying you don't really need it then? You should carry a battle axe. That would be impressive. I'll look into it. You hype for Harfest? Um, Harfest is pretty dumb, right? I'm gonna watch a bunch of old Dracula movies from the 60s. That actually sounds really cool. It is. Gonna get a pizza, too. All to myself. Wow, you have life way more figured out than I did at your age. Really? What were you doing, then? Ruining my life. Oh. Sorry to bring it up. Oh, it's fine. Just a thing that happened. Alright. The thing. Yep. That's my advice. Try not to have the thing. Okay. Yep. See ya. Later. Oh, wait. We can keep talking with him. Oh. Rip. Wait. If that's their predominant thought, then what does that mean? Happy Halloween! <laughs> hey, you too. You feeling spooky? Oh, extremely, can't you tell? Do your spooky face. Angus, you're just smiling. And it's adorable, not scary. Oh. Nice effort, though. <laughs> you going to Harfest? Nah, I'm gonna watch the game. Is there a game tonight? Well, no, but I was going to watch my favorite highlights. Why don't you come on out? Might be good. Stretch your legs, see the parade. Ever seen the game live? Nah, never. Come on out to Harfest, you never know. Yeah, alright. Yeah, go Smelters. Go Smelters. Hey man. How's things? Good. Harfest Rush? No one's in here. You missed it. The horror. Oh. I done got horrored. Getting horrored at work is the worst. When I had that job at one time, I worked the longest night rush. You know, you've never mentioned having a job. Ugh, that's a story for another time. Anyway, you're here now and I'm here now. And it's a lovely day. And I was worried I'd have to smash these light bulbs all by myself. 
So what's up? Uh, I'm very interested in this light bulb smashing. Hell yeah, dude. This is exactly what I didn't want to do. I've made bad, bad, bad life choices. Gee, thanks. Poof. I'm trying. I didn't think this would be spending the day with him, but I guess it always is spending the day with him. Oh my god. Can I hit one? There we go. Boom. Oof. Okay, I'm done. Before I lose an eye. <laughs> oh yeah, it didn't take up the whole day. I thought it was something kind of quick. Greg, how come everything I do with you is just, like, destroying things? Hurting things? So what's up? Nothing. Cool, cool. Ooh, who's this person? All these people. I recognize Germ, of course. Hey, Germ. Hey, May. Hey, I'm Scams. Scams? That's Jenna. Hi. Hi. I'm Bill Dawn. And I'm Germ. I'm May. I completely forgot what I was going to say. Hey, Germ. You coming to Harfest? Eh, maybe. Are you guys going? Yeah, we might hop over. Check out the party. I mean, y'all got ghosts here for real, right? Yeah. What? Little Joe, you know? Man, man. Local legend. My man, Tapeworm. Out in Bright Harbor. He told me he never got off in this town. Never got off in this town. You might want to reword that. He never got off in this town. Because of the ghost. Oh, that's a load of crap. He sneaks into rail yards and snatches up the good and the pure. Well, you kids got nothing to fear then. Damn it, old timer, we're pure as the air. Alright, well, I guess I'll see some of you there. Nice to meet you. Same little lady. See ya, Germ. See ya. Wait, we can keep talking? Oh. They're, <laughs> they're thinking of ghosts and pentagrams. Whoa, spooky. Where is everybody? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, we used to do that. Awesome. <laughs> well, you can see on my street. Deal. Exclamation mark? Holy shit. The dudes. Someone hacked up the dudes. Oh, graffitied over the mural? Who did this? Why did they do it? Thought. Nuke Possum Springs. I think there was a new description, new thing to look at for this, yeah. Amazing to think these things used to run. Kind of amazing they're still down here, too. No way to get them out of here, I guess. This place sure was something a long time ago. Okay, don't think there's anything to do but get ready for the party, but I'm going to save that for the next episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to go to Harfest. <laughs>